The following incident occurred April 4th, 2021, in the city of Delray Beach. It was late, Dad was tired, but my routine patrol wasn't over yet. I saw a blue SUV approaching northwest on 5th Avenue. I watched the vehicle fail to come to a complete stop. Upon approaching the vehicle, I immediately smelled a strong odor coming from the car, but through my training and knowledge and experience, I knew this to be Mary Jane. What I didn't know was that the fact that the driver was a 700 pound freak. How you doing sir? Hey sir, how are you? Pretty good. Do you have your ID on your registration and insurance? Yes sir, I'm gonna grab my license out of here. Okay, that's fine. My registration and insurance. You still live at? Yes, sir. Okay. You want to grab, grab the insurance? Yep. And no problem. Yeah. May take a little while to find it. <laughs> no worries. Yeah. Here it is. is this it? Yes, sir. Uh, no, that's the 2016 one. Okay. That might be a little bit expired. Now it's up to date. Or something. <laughs> from 2018. We're getting closer. This your company? It was my employer's company. Oh. He's currently open, but I'm not in the service right now. He's just has to build up more clientele, and but he's letting me use the car. Oh, okay. So it's his car? Yes, the company car, yes. Oh, okay. Lander, when's the last time you've been in trouble? Pardon me? When's the last time you've been in trouble for anything? Uh, probably 1997. That long ago. I ordered some steroids in the mail. You got in trouble? Yeah, they did a uh, reverse control thing. delivery. Yeah, I didn't know this car. I didn't even know they were illegal. But they didn't file any charges. Of, like, so many people with drugs and stuff up there. The judge told the prosecutor to get this out of my sight. <laughs> but I know it is up to date. Yeah. Right, let me ask you something. Is yeah. What were you doing driving around? You know, I just dropped tech. off my girlfriend. And I'm headed home to... Okay, but you obviously have been driving around through the neighborhood for about 10 minutes Yeah. from where you came from. And you know that you're way to 95. I don't really know my way around the neighborhood, but... That road you came off, you literally were at the light. You know... You know you saw me, and as soon as you saw me is when you started turning right. I think I saw you earlier going on 5th towards the lane. this one, sir? So, Leonard, before we continue games, yeah. I want you, this is expired. Okay. <laughs> I want you to be completely honest with me from the get-go. Yes, sir. Okay? Because if I feel like you're bullshitting me, 
Everything, everything goes south from there, okay? Yeah. Obviously, I smell weed in the car. Pardon me? I smell weed. I don't know if it was your girlfriend. Are you serious? So I'm asking you a question. I don't smoke weed. Why? Like I said, no, if it was I was your at a, we were at a nightclub. Which, is that why it smells on your clothes? It's probably. Okay, that's fine. Now, let me ask you. Is there anything illegal in this car? Guns, knives, drugs, no, bombs, nothing that's going to hurt? Nothing at anyway, all. Nothing at all? No. Okay, so you, can I search them? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, what about this? Let's see what this one is. Okay, this one looks like it's been chewed on. Hey, here we go. Great. All right, it's a... Yes, sir. That's your My friend? Employer. employer. Oh, your employer? Yes, sir. Okay, so hang on to this one. This one's closer. Yes. And let me see that. That should be the insurance. Mm -hmm. Just that top one. The top, the top paper. The Geico. Okay. Yep. Like that. Okay, here. You can just keep, yeah, keep this up top. Yes, He's going to need that. And then what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you just step out. Okay. So there's nothing that's going to hurt me or anything, right? What's your uh, girlfriend's last name? G or a C? G. Okay. What I'm going to do is as soon as you get out, just go ahead and face the car for me. I just want to make sure you don't have any weapons. Okay. Alright? Right, right there's fine. You don't have any needles or anything, right? No, sir. Okay. No, if we don't want to get pricked by anything. What's your girlfriend's name? No, I don't find out. Two years? And you said your boss knows that you have his car. Yes, he's gonna let me use the car exactly so he gets more clients like the delivery guy. And we're taking patients to and from the You can look at me. You can face me. That's fine. I'm just gonna read you some real quick. That way we can talk. Or policy. Let me talk. So you know your Miranda warnings. Seen TV, right? Been a while. I but, right, I'm gonna read it to you anyways. But I just figured. I'll tell you anyways. Like I said, just part of policy. Anytime we gotta talk, they want us to read it. Nothing else. I'm required to warn you before you make any statement that you have the following constitutional rights. You have the right to remain silent, not answer any questions. Any statement you make must be freely and voluntarily given. You have the right to the presence and representation of a lawyer of your choice before you make any statement and during any question. If you cannot afford a lawyer, you are entitled to the presence and representation of a court-appointed lawyer before you make any statement and during any questioning. If at any time during the interview you do not wish to answer any questions, you are privileged to remain silent. I can make no threats or promises to induce you to make a statement. This must be of your own free will. Any statement can be and will be used against you in the court of law. Again, just like TV. Yeah. So, alright, so, with that in mind. So, you were coming from what club, you said? 
bamboo room. Like, bamboo? <laughs> Where's your girlfriend sit? She stays over in the <laughs> What's the address? You've been dating for two years. I don't know the address. Come on, dude. You've been dating for two years. I don't know. She moved. <laughs> what was that conversation I had with you right one night when I was speaking to you? I said, I don't want any lies. Right. And this isn't my first time. So, right. okay. So where on the sunset? I would say that, again, she moved two or three times. I would say 11th sounds point. about right. 11th and what? Honestly, I don't know. Again, I'm asking you questions that I may know more than you think I do. So I'm trying to gauge yeah, I don't mean your to, I don't mean to disrespect you or anything, but, I mean, it's, it's an off and on relationship. She called me in tears this week. I promised I'd take her out. And, you know, and she's moved two or three times. It's not like I go and see And that. you've been dating for how long? Off and on for three years. What happened at two? We just said two. Three. So now it's three. We had an extra year. It okay. three. Maybe I did. Now, but I could be wrong. Right. It's a little late. Now, Leonard, one more question. Yes, sir. The pills that I took out of that little container in the right pocket, yeah. what are they? Aspirin. That's aspirin? Yeah, I'm on aspirin. So it's in my heart. I'm in bad shape. Aspirin and what else? That's all. So you cut aspirin in half to take it? It's not a baby aspirin, but I take a baby aspirin. Mm -hmm. I take the whole thing, but if it's not, I'll cut it. I'll cut all the aspirin. So there's out. nothing else that I'm going to find no in those pills. Okay. Okay. Same You got bad shoulders? You got bad shoulders? Do you have bad shoulders? No, they're bad, but they're Can you, can you reach back behind your back? Like that? Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Turn around for me. Okay. I'm going to make this about as comfortable as I can. Okay, I appreciate it. Is that good? Is that okay? Fine, sir. Fine, everybody. I told you to be honest with us from the beginning, right? Yes, sir. Okay. This is kind of why you put yourself in that situation. Honesty from the beginning helps and goes a long way. Right. Did you know I found your stash? Stash of what? In your eyeglass case? What, fit, what is in there? Well, you wear prescription glasses, so I'm assuming that it's going to be your eyeglass case, right next to where your shifter is. So you got two little baggies in there. I'm going to test it. What's it going to test positive for? Here, you know what? You might have forgot. Give me one second, Leonard. No, I can tell you what that probably is. Okay, so what is it? Molly. I'm going to test it. All right. Okay. It's all How much crusty. do you pay? I am I don't do drugs or anything like that. I just take steroids and all the medications for my heart. Probably have steroids, probably have side effects. I'm not a recreational drug user, drunk or anything like that. I'm mean, I'm 51 years old. How long I'd be been... dead if I was doing this stuff. Uh, you'd be surprised. We got a lot of people out here that are 60, 70, 80 years old that are still smoking crack, and they've been smoking no. crack for 40 years. Uh, so that's going to be come back as Molly, not crack. Yes. Sir. Okay. Well, we're going to find out. We're going to test it. But, you know, you got to take. That's it what back. the gals like. You know, it's, it's my mistake. But I don't know. You guys picked that up tonight. It doesn't make a difference. I'm just curious. I don't know what she got. It. I mean, like I said, I'll pay the penalty for it. Oh, somebody else picked it up. Yeah, the gals like it. The girls. Oh, so you just carry it for the girls? Well, I got a couple black girlfriends. But, you know, like I said, I only so much responsibility. Okay. Nothing else on you? You already searched him, right? Yeah, he no, just said he has money. In his I had some aspirin on me. And then he has for my this heart. in his right pocket. Half a pillow or something, I don't know what it is. He says aspirin. I don't know why I would just say if anything. I'll say it loud. Can I hear right now? A few. It's a big ass aspirin. I don't know why I like it. Whenever it comes back to whatever it is, and you can charge them a schedule. If it is something. That's a good wake up call. It has nothing to do with the girls. He can't go off. Thank <laughs> you.
Like this? You can try that. I'll hold on okay. back here so you don't fall backwards. Yeah. Okay. 
need some money. You got to the lake across the whole back here and I'm going to call me in. Okay. Oh, boy. There you go. You're almost there. Oh. Almost. Almost. Oh, boy. One. Three, two, one. Perfect. See? You got oh. this, buddy. You're doing oh, great. Boy. What's that show? Oh, you? shit. That hurts. You want to try kicking the this way? Or if you kick your butt that way towards him. Okay, I'll be fine. I think it was gonna be this bad. Do you need me? I really gotta go pee. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Seven alpha five nine. Seven alpha five nine.